What is going on, everybody? And welcome back. We are playing some UFC for baby. As you can see, we're ranked six in the UFC. We are making moves and moving forward. We're 15 and 0. We doing work. We struggling through some of these fights, but we doing pretty good. Sorry about the uh, length of these fights. It, hey, it just depends, man. Honestly, that last one was really, really short because he was a submission special. Daniel, he had to go. We had to put him out before he put us out. So we kept the fight from being on the ground for too long. We got up, we did major damage, and he just couldn't take it. All he was good at was wrestling and submissions. Um, but that being said, we just accepted a very serious fight. He's four and a half stars, 22 and one, 35, 6, 4, 185 pound, 80 inch reach. 80 inch he's not playing you already know we're on the main card ufc baby so we're gonna do work i already went through the training camp and everything so we're just gonna go ahead and transition into the fight coming up next we get to this ufc middleweight division fight Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with him and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. All right, so here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236, a monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out in round five when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight was inspiring for anyone that likes mixed martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. Our tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. Adesanya is four years his senior. He is four inches taller. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. Ladies we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buck. Middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting out of New York, lights out. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? Well, it's good to see this man back inside the octagon. Round one getting underway here. As many of you know, he won his last fight by blistering knockout. His oh, he's got us on range. He's got us on height. He's got us on weight. So we're, we're, we're going to fill him out a little bit. And he's a, oh, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, we missed. Oh, that's not, oh. He has a lightning fast speed. I can feel it. I can feel it. Mm. 
Ooh, you seen that hook? That overhead he tried to hit us with. Okay, okay. Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Ooh, let's go. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Getting that jab. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to get. Oh. <laughs> mm, Superman. Let's go. Okay, the jab. Oh, he's down. The stiff jab. Israel. Israel, do you know who you are? Oh, Israel, please don't hurt me. <laughs> oh, he's using that range. Woo. Okay, all right. All right, we got to calm this thing down. I'm hitting his legs, and it's doing nothing to him. <laughs> He's using that range. Look at this. Look at this. I got to get in there. I... Oh. oh. Oh, he's cutting me off. He's cutting me off. I got to move. I got to move. Come on, jab our way out of this. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. I got the power, but he's got the ring. <laughs> I'm going to keep distance. I'm going to keep distance. Okay, all right. Whoop. Oh, okay, all right. You got it. Mm. Let's go. Oh, no. We're on the ground. Let's get up. Let's get up. No, Israel. No, Israel. My ground game ain't like that. I'm sorry. I mean, yours might be, but mine isn't. We got to stay up here. Oh, no. Let's switch up. Let's switch up. Oh, no. I got to switch back. I got to switch back. Oh, my. Oh, the knee. Oh. Oh, he's pushing me. Oh. Oh. Oh, put your hands up. Oh. This knee. This knee is powerful. Whew. Let's go. Oh, man. Woo, that was a good round. Woo, keep the pressure going. I scored a knockdown. I got him good, but woo, I could feel him, yo. He hit hard, too. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. He ain't even want to glove up. That's messed up. No sportsmanship, no sportsmanship. Okay, all right. We can't get too aggressive. When we get too aggressive, the knees start flying and hitting. Oh, Israel is down and out. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Israel, good night. Let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 29 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Lights and there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like. That was a good fight. Israel did amazing. I could feel the range. I could feel the power in his hits. He did very good. Unfortunately, you know, obviously we gave him the beat down. And because of our power, he just couldn't stand up. He just couldn't hit. You know, he kept getting hit. So we was doing good. We banged the drum. We kept the jab going, and we did good. But it was a good fight, and, and I liked that. I felt the difficulty. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that fight very much. If you guys can, do me that favor. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. 
and of course ring the bell for more i appreciate you guys we are moving forward we are going after the championship i appreciate you guys and i'll see you on the next one